right, guys, we are back. The time is here. I am so excited, not only because yesterday was Friday the 13th, but that means today is Saturday. That's right guys, yesterday was Friday the 13th. I want to know in the comments below if you guys did anything awesome for your Friday the 13th. As for me, on the Nate Guy on Halloween channel, I went out to Target to check out the Friday the 13th toys. And on this channel here, I did the Friday the 13th edition of Fan Mail Friday, as well as finally putting together the grim animatronic from Spirit Halloween. Now being it, this is Saturday night and yesterday was Friday, making yesterday Friday the 13th and today Saturday the 14th, and I was kind of bummed out that we didn't get to have a Saturday night snack and a movie on Friday the 13th because it was Friday night. I wanted to still do something a little spooky, so even though we already did this movie for a Saturday night snack and a movie, we are going to do it again. So tonight, we are watching the Spirit Halloween movie. It just came out on DVD this past Halloween, and if you guys watched all my Spirit Halloween videos, you know that I visited and filmed the location in Rome, Georgia, where this movie was actually filmed. And if you're asking right now, but is this movie okay for my kids to watch? If you let your kids go into Spirit Halloween and watch my videos, then yes, this movie is perfectly fine for your kid to watch. In a few minutes here, we are gonna make an awesome snack that I like to call Nightcrawler Nachos. I'm also gonna show you guys how to make your very own custom monster popcorn buckets. And then we are gonna kick back and watch this movie. But before that can happen, I think this room needs a little makeover. This is how you watch the Spirit Halloween movie. Look at this, guys. We have the Hello Rat. 
We have the brain munching zombie baby. We have the cat dog, the spider biting Billy, handstand Harry, or whatever his name is, little miss throwing a fit, bug eating Judy, <laughs> or whatever her name is today. We got the hand eater. We have the secret keeping cat. We've got the chains of death. We've got Grim. We've got the wacky mole. And we've even got tons of spooky friends to watch the movie with, including these three fellows over here holding the sign welcoming the Great Pumpkin. And with that, it is officially time to show you guys how to make your very own Spirit Halloween Monster Popcorn Buckets. So when it comes to making crafts and you need awesome things for your movie night, the Dollar Tree is your very best friend. Now it's the Dollar Twenty-Five Tree, but it's still called the Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you how to make some awesome custom monster popcorn buckets using a few things you have at home and a couple things from the Dollar Tree. Right now you can get these paper buckets at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 for two of them. Now, obviously these have hearts on them. They are seasonal, specific for Valentine's Day, but we're going to use them for Halloween and for movie night. $1.25 for two of them, and they are the perfect size for popcorn buckets. Now, if you go down and around the corner to the Iowa has office supplies, paints, markers, things of that nature, you're going to find this stuff right here. This is self-adhesive peel and stick vinyl paper. These come in several colors. I chose black and what I thought was white, but it turned out to be pink, but that's okay. <laughs> These are 12 inches by 48 inches. That's one foot by four feet long. So you can probably use one roll to do both buckets. So we're only into this for two buckets for the price of $2.50. The other thing you're gonna need is double-sided tape or maybe a glue stick. You could even use regular glue, a pair of scissors, and a couple sheets of printer paper. Now you are gonna need to have a printer at home, but if you don't, that doesn't mean you're out of the game. You can still draw your monsters on the buckets or on the paper. In my case, I chose Crouchy and the Nightcrawler. I went on Google, I found the pictures, saved it to my computer, printed it out, and it is ready to go. All I have to do is cut them out and stick them to the bucket after I put the vinyl sheet on. So let's get down to it. As you can see, this is a pretty big sheet. Like I said, it's 12 inches by 48 inches, so it is pretty long. Now you could just use regular paper if you wanted to. You could use colored paper, whatever you wanna do. All we're gonna do is take the bucket and wrap this paper around it. So if you're using something other than this, which is like a big sticker, then you're gonna have to use your glue or double-sided tape or even regular tape just to attach it to the bucket. Using this sticky paper though, I'm just gonna wrap it around the bucket, see how much I need and cut it off right there. We're gonna peel it and get it started right on the bucket. Gonna put it right up at the top. There you go, get it started right there. And then slowly wrap it around. And it doesn't even matter if it overlaps the top. So we're just gonna lay it down here and roll the bucket. Just like that. It doesn't even matter about the way that it looks right now because we're gonna go back in and cut it off all the way around the bottom, and then you can kind of smooth that in. Leave just enough to fold up under the little lip on the bottom of the bucket. Doesn't even have to look good on the bottom because you're not even gonna see the bottom. Then we're gonna go to the top and do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna take my scissors, put it right on the lip, and kind of slice the paper all the way around right under the lip. That way it's a nice clean cut. Pull it off and there you go. Now it's not perfect. You're gonna have these little waves and wrinkles and stuff in there, but who cares? <laughs> it's just a fun little craft for movie night. You're making your own little popcorn bucket. And with these, you're more than likely gonna just throw them away afterwards anyway, because it is just a thin cardboard. It's probably gonna soak up the butter from the popcorn and just go into trash. But for $1.25, that's okay. Now we got one done in black and we have plenty of black left over to do another bucket in black. But we're gonna go ahead and do our second one in this color, which turned out to be pink. I thought it was white.
Now I will say this, the black completely covers the hearts, you can't even see them underneath. The pink or any lighter color is going to still let you see those hearts underneath there a little bit. But remember, we're also going to be putting our own pictures on here too. So like I said, you can draw your own pictures and paste them on there. You can use paint markers and just draw right on the bucket. Or you can do like I did, print your pictures off the internet, cut them out and tape them on. Now I'm using double-sided tape for this, but like I said, you can use a glue stick, you can use regular tape, you can even use regular glue, whatever you need to use that you already have around your house so you don't have to spend much money. There you have it, custom monster popcorn buckets for your spirit Halloween movie night. Even the popcorn was only $1.25. Alright guys, that brings us to our awesome, delicious, and easy snack for the night. This is what I like to call Nightcrawler Nachos. Now, that's just me calling it Nightcrawler Nachos because we're watching Spirit Halloween tonight, so it sounds really awesome as compared to sausage cheese dip. <laughs> so guys, this seriously is really, really simple. All you need is one can of Rotel diced tomatoes, a one pound roll of Jimmy Dean sausage, or whatever kind of sausage you like, a two pound block of Velveeta cheese, and a bag of tortilla chips. Whatever is your favorite tortilla chips, I tend to like these round ones, they're easier to scoop with. All right, so when you make this, you can use any kind of a pan that you want to, you can do it on your stove top. I am personally gonna use a slow cooker here, a crock pot, because it makes it that much easier. You can put the stuff in there and walk away. About 45 minutes later, you got your snack done for you. Well, almost. You have to cook the sausage first. Before we mix it all up, we have to brown this sausage in the pan on the stovetop. Not like that. But while we do that, we can take the diced tomatoes and the Velveeta and put it in the slow cooker and get it started. Turn on your slow cooker to high heat. Open your tomatoes, but do not drain them. Pour that directly in. While that warms up, you wanna cut your Velveeta up into a lot of small pieces so it makes it easier for it to melt. Pour that right in with the tomatoes, then mix it up good and move right onto the sausage. Now just mix the sausage in, stir it up, and walk away. Actually, don't walk away yet. While that's heating up, you can prepare your chips in these handy-dandy divided containers, also from the Dollar 25 tree. If you just spend some time walking the aisles in Dollar Tree, you'll see they have every kind of container imaginable. And among them, you will probably find exactly what you need. These were a buck 25 each, guys. Comes with a lid, take it off. It's got one side over here to put your chips and another side right here to put your dip and it keeps it completely separate. And if your movie room is downstairs like mine or you're afraid people are gonna spill on your carpet, you can get your stuff ready in here, put on the lid and they can carry it in just like that. Oh yeah, so after about a half an hour, guys, this is what you have. Sausage, Rotel, and Velveeta cheese dip, AKA Nightcrawler Nachos. Mm, there we go, guys, Nightcrawler Nachos. Look how delicious that looks. Let's have a little taste. Oh yeah. Look at that, oh my gosh. Scoop up some tomatoes, some sausage on there. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. So, 
absolutely delicious. All right, guys, well, there we go. We got our monster popcorn buckets popcorn. We got our Nightcrawler nachos. We got our awesome haunted spooky home theater, the spirit Halloween movie, and all our spooky friends to watch with, including you guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys, and will join me every Saturday night for more Saturday Night Snack in the Movie. I'm going to grab a Coke, my popcorn, my nachos, kick back, and watch the Spirit Halloween movie.